it's getting that respect on the business level because you've been willing to challenge. Hello, welcome back. I've got with me Susan Donovan, Lady of Paradoxes. Susan is a specialist in high-level micro skills for salespeople. She's an author and a wonderful trainer. Welcome back, Susan. Thanks, John. Hey, Susan, I read recently something that astounded me. You wrote that building rapport can actually damage relationships. Yes. Hey, <laughs> we teach strange uh, salespeople that rapport is vital. You've got to learn yeah. how to build rapport to start the building, a trust building process. What That's do you right. mean? And um, well, it's really to do with the types of rapport. So there are two types: personal and business, if you like. Right. And um, even within those types, you could have wide rapport or deep and even like narrow rapport. And the kind of rapport I was thinking about that can be damaging is when you have really deep, narrow personal rapport. Okay. Where you sort of, you know, you got into this habit with the customer where you agree on everything and you have the same view of everything. And then if you sort of start talking about the business, it could feel to the salesperson that they've got to be the same. They've got to agree on everything. Hey, I think I can relate to that. I remember once when I, I, uh, I'm a golf fanatic yes. and, and I met a customer who's also a golf fanatic and we really got into the subject yes. of golf like nothing on earth. Yes. <laughs> and yet I, I really struggled then to build a business rapport, get, get yeah. respect on yes. a business level. Is that what you're talking That's about? That's exactly what we're talking about. It's getting that respect on the business level because you've been willing to challenge the customer where you have a different perspective and be, you know, even bring information that could be disruptive to the way that they see things and be willing to do that and build that stronger business rapport and not necessarily always be the comfortable So that's person. what you mean by a wider rapport. Yes. You actually stretch the yes. business discussion. You stretch uh, by, by putting yourself at risk and really yeah. in, in terms of rapport. That's right. Because now I'm going to step outside and challenge you, Mr. Customer. Yeah, exactly right. Okay. And the net yeah. result? Well, you end up with stronger rapport because, you know, once you've proven yourself that you're willing to take a risk, because trust or rapport is actually proportional to risk as well, um, you risk that, but you end up with stronger rapport at the end. I get what you mean, and it's great advice. So in, in summary, be very careful not to build too much of a deep rapport on the personal level. Yes. And look for building business rapport. And again, not too deep. Yep. A broad business rapport that, that helps you build respect and That's grow right. trust. Exactly right. Great advice, Susan. Thank you very much Thanks, for your time. John. I look forward to the next time we talk. Thank you.